Hello everybody, welcome to Crafts Dash Live and a very happy new year to you. My name's Kaylee, and I'm here with Katie Skilton from Sizzix today. Hi. Uh, we're in for a really exciting show this we morning are. because we yeah. have brand new Sizzix products to show you from the Chapter 1 launch. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to be demonstrating a few yeah. of those today for us, aren't you? And we also have a huge giveaway for you today, uh, which is a comment to win giveaway. So just comment on the thread uh, and we'll choose the winners out of that. So I'm just going to talk you through the prizes. First bundle we have is, I'll hold it under here. Uh, we have this beautiful bundle here. So you'll see that in this collection, there's a lot of springtime, there's a lot of Easter. Um, it's all very fun and very fresh. It's one to really bust away those January blues. So we've got the stamp and die set here. Uh, with the, the frames and the sentiments. So you've got all your different, your happy birthday, your hello, it's a girl, Easter, and then you've got your cute frames and your cute little bunny rabbits and chicks here. Your second bundle is a very Easter themed bundle. So we have the bunny mask here, which is great for kids makes. You can also make a panda mask and a cat mask and a bear mask. Then we've got the big sty with the bunny and the chick and the floral die here. And then your third make, uh, your third prize even, <laughs> Uh, is this one from Tim Holtz. So this has got more of a Valentine's-y theme to it. So you can see that we've got the hearts and the roses uh, and this one here, which is a bit unusual. I, I really yeah. like this one. I mean, one. Tim Holtz always does something unusual. Always mm, something absolutely. Different. Um, this is really good. I think you could use these all year round as well, although they're hearts. I think so. I mean, you always want to show, send hearts to people you love, don't you? And uh, it's it works for, for everything. So I'm just going to see who we've got with us here. Uh, so hello to our YouTube viewers. Um, so we've got Danny Hutchinson says hello and happy new year to you both. Uh, happy new year. Um, happy new year from Australia, from Rose. Wow. Um, she's liking the look of the prizes. Um, uh, Pauline Jack says, like me your lum reek. Sorry, I had to read that twice then. <laughs> uh, looking, uh, she says she's looking forward to this. Have pre-ordered some stuff and waiting impatiently for yeah. delivery. Well, good news, it's going to be in stock from next week, so you've not got much longer to wait. Uh, and then we have Handmade by Emma, says, hello everyone, very excited for the new release. So I'm just gonna flick over to Facebook now, see yeah. who's See, we do, we do four releases a year, basically. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we bring out chapters. We bring out four chapters a year. Um, so obviously the first one's in January, and then they're spread evenly throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So obviously January, Christmas is over, we're now looking at spring, we're looking at yeah. Easter, we're looking at yeah. all fresh new designs. And actually, after working on Christmas for so long, it, it's nice to have that fresh new, those fresh mm. new designs, and be back into spring again. It gets Definitely. a bit of fun of some... <laughs> a bit more normality, yeah. yeah. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all a little bit, uh, a little bit shell shocked after Christmas, I know. aren't we? We're I, on that yeah. that come down now. Uh, so who do we have on Facebook? We have Bobby Boo says good morning. Um, we have Samantha Butler says happy new year. Tracy Hay says hello, ladies, love this release. Uh, Carol Lewis, happy new year from Liverpool. Uh, Sharon says Happy New Year from California. Wow. Um, lots of lots of excitement about the new says it's goodies. Um, people uh, people really looking forward to it. Uh, Pamela says Happy New Year it, from Pam and crew. I have missed you. Oh, uh, that's nice. Welcome back. So I think we should move have on to uh, to some of your see what we can make. yeah let's do that. Okay, so. I'm going to start with the floral layers. So these are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So you know quite often now you see stamp sets and they've got the, the layers. So you stamp one colour and then you stamp another on top and you get that beautiful yeah. layer. We've done some dyes like that. So by Fantastic. using different colour cardstock you get those layers. Um, so we're going to have a look at those and I thought I'll show you how they kind of all layer together. We'll make a little notebook using it. Great. Um, so, bear with me while I've got my non-Christmas brain. <laughs> okay. 
I'm just going to grab some glue and things here. So these are quite delicate. Um, so when you, I'm going to just pop this at the way a second, I'm just going to make some room. Um, so I'm using all the Sizzix cardstock here as well, um, which I think you have as well. So basically, I'm going to use some nice pink colours. So, just need to, okay, so there's lots of different layers on these. Mm -hmm. So we use a base layer, basically the dark, the pink is going to be a base layer. Um, and then we are going to use the orange as kind of the shadow almost on it. Okay, just, um, if we just move okay, this forward a little well. bit. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm loving the colours of this card, beautiful, it's uh, isn't it? lovely and fresh. So when, and when you're using dyes, these sort of dyes, you want to use colours that are very similar because you mm -hmm. almost want, you want the same tone, so when you layer it up, it just looks like shadows, like a flower would Great. be, um, rather than like contrasting colours. So let's just run that for a minute. And there we go. Just an update from Sharon in California. Uh, she's watching. It's currently five a.m. over there. Um, so I feel like uh, I feel like my post-Christmas brain has nothing compared yeah, to that. Right, yeah, that is, yeah. uh, no, I know that feeling actually. Yeah. I, I saw it five a.m. this morning. So I'll just pop these pieces here, and I'll pick them up in a minute, so we can have a good look at them. Um, and see exactly what I'm going to do with them. I haven't managed to lose a piece already. You see this? Oh, it's there. No. So then you're going to cut some centres as well. So let's just get the other bits and pieces out. So the leaves work in exactly the same way. You can layer up the colours on the leaves as well. So again, choose a couple of different greens, but that are quite similar in yeah. tone. Um, and that'll allow you to build it up. So we'll pop the green on now. So let's do that. And then use the lighter green as the base. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we'll use the darker one for like almost the shadow. One. Yep, and then I've got a tiny piece of yellow here, and this is just going to be the centre of the flowers. Okay. I'll we'll pop them on there like so. Um, let's pop that in there for a minute. So we'll run this through the machine. And you can see, um, we'll see when I take that in there, what a lovely cut you get from it as well. You know, considering they're very intricate dyes, you're getting that lovely um, delicate shape from it. What I think we'll do, I'll do the rest of the die cutting actually, and then we can move the die cutting machine out of the way, and we can have a look how they all get pieced together. Mm -hmm. So I'll do all of that first. So I'm just going to cut some letters as well. So this is from our new alphabet that we've got. Let's just move these. So we've got some more, uh, some more people coming up on, on YouTube. Um, so Postal Orphan says hi from Texas. Um, we have got uh, Mark Waite is watching from West Australia. Um, people really enjoying the, uh, the layering dies. Uh, people really excited for the, the new Sizzix products. I think it's always nice to have a release, especially this time of the year. When, I think so, yeah. Like I say, Christmas is over. Yes, um, definitely. And you've got spring releases. It's a really nice one. So I've got, just got some letters here, so I'm going to pop those out a second. Um, because I want to write hello, I just need to do another L, and I want to put 2020, so I just need to cut another set of those as well now. So let's pop those down there. And there's lots of people talking about the Big Shot as well. Um, Tracy says the Big Shot Plus is on her crafty wish list. Yeah, definitely. Um, Sharon says she'd love that big machine. Um, Linda says that, that she loves her big shot. It's definitely one of the, the must-have craft dyes. You know, um, items, I mean, Sizzix has been going for 40 years, or yeah. more than actually, yeah. 41 years now. You know, so when it comes to die cutting, we know what we're doing. And mm -hmm. I think it's just such a simple machine. I think sometimes you can overcomplicate things, you know, with all the plates and changing them around. Yeah. It's just simple. It just, yeah. it works. So let's put those down there. Right, so for some reason, I've lost so I'm just going to quickly cut that again. It'll take me longer to find it than it will to cut it. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there, haven't we? I don't know why I do it. So <laughs> I lose a tiny little die cut. I 
can spend half an hour looking for it. Why don't I just cut another one? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, then you find it when you don't need I it. I know. Again. You cut another one and it, it always turns up. Common sense isn't much longer, <laughs> to be honest. So, let's move this out of the way now because we've done all the diagrams in and then we can really have a look at the project. So, I've got a notebook here. So, this is a plain, just plain notebook and we're going to make it kind of transform it really. So, again, this is some of our Sizzix cardstock here. Um, just torn a little bit down the side. I've literally just ripped it just to give it some texture. Um, I'm just going to stick those together. Mm -hmm. So let's hope my glue works now. Yeah. Let's just... Put that around the edges. Um, and we'll just... We'll just attach that together. So there we go. So now we've got our base layer basically, oh, and nice. um, we can add things onto that. So what we'll do is we'll decorate this first. So let's take our flowers. So this is now you can see where it starts to layer together. Um, just pop the pieces there, and you'll start to see the shape. Now we've made it quite easy for you, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but as well as the cut lines, there's almost like score lines, so you can see um, where the shadow goes. You can see where to oh, exactly okay. where to stick it. Okay, I think that's one of the things with with layering dyes sometimes, isn't it? Of it's knowing how exactly it to get it together. together. You, can, yeah. you can sit there for ages. Yeah. Excuse me. <coughs> um, trying to work out which way to fold it and yeah, where it goes. So we have got the lines there, so that makes it much easier. I'll just pop these bits out. So again, I'm just going to use some glue. So something like this is perfect for these dyes. You know, thin, yeah. like a thin nozzle glue works really well because you've got some quite tiny little detailed parts there that you just want to, um, of course, yeah. you don't want the glue to squelch out either, there's nothing no, worse than true. Yeah. it down and then all the yeah. glue comes out the sides and it's a big sticky mess. Um, oh, so we'll just <laughs> add those on there. So I'm just going to take have a look where the lines are. There we go. So I can see easily that that's mm -hmm. where it lines up and then it's just a case of lining up all the petals they all sit nicely and you can see that makes such a difference already oh, wow. um, and we'll do the same with this one so again it looks nothing does it when you when they cut you know you just cut yeah. these separate yeah they just really what is that page, isn't it? Um, but it really makes such a difference just having that flat flower mm -hmm. again just pop some glue Lovely. Follow those lines again. And I guess you could do loads of flowers of loads of different colours and yeah. little bouquets. And, and I'll tell you what else these look really nice in actually I've done before. Um, is using your distress inks or something like that. Oh, so use right, different yeah. um, a very kind of use one as quite a strong colour and mm -hmm. then do it subtly on the other layer, die cut them. Right. And you get that beautiful effect oh, with those fantastic. as well. So that works really well. Or even watercolour, watercolour would look lovely on oh, them. Oh brilliant. Pop the centres on. So there's a lot of that kind of subtle colouring with watercolours yes. and inks that are around at the moment, isn't yeah. there? So and then you've got the control, haven't you, to add as much kind of definitely depth yeah. as you want to it. Yeah. So people are, are liking the notebook idea. Uh, Catherine Denton says she's never tried decorating a notebook, but something else to add to the list. I of think things the beauty is with a notebook, it takes you no longer than a card. Yes, it's exactly, exactly. the same as yeah. a card. Yeah. Um, so um, Oh, and uh, Sharon's been making them uh, with the Eileen Hull Sizzix dies, um, yes. so the, the notebook dies oh, yeah. that we've, we've had previously. Notebooks are stationary, so, I mean, I yes. just love, I just love yeah. stationary, I've, you know, I'm not scared to admit, I've probably got hundreds of <laughs> um, I think it's that time of year for it as well, though, isn't it? I think yeah, it's when you go, year. you know what, I'm going to be really organised this yeah. year, I'm going to write yeah. everything down that I ever need to remember. Yeah, I'm going to get a new planner going, yeah, I'm going to get a new bullet journal going, yeah, we've all done yeah. that. I've got one at home, it's still empty. I know. But we're only three days in. No, it's so. okay. And to be fair, I quite like just keeping them clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do the same with the leaf now. So we're just going to layer that on top. So then mm -hmm. again, you've got that definition of colour that kind of pops up. Mm -hmm. and, and it works exactly the same way as these leaves. So what we'll do is we'll stick these down now. So we'll stick the leaves down first. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to pop again some glue on. 
just going to say, this is good, going to be good guesswork. <laughs> One like so. And then we'll have a couple of these other leaves here coming out of the flower, because then we can stick the flower over the top in a minute. Mm -hmm. It just makes it really pop when you put it all together. I think these colours complement each other so well. It's mm -hmm. giving that fresh kind of spring. Yeah again isn't it yeah it's lovely you know we've been using all the reds and greens yes and, yeah um, oh, it's nice to have a bit bit of color yeah. a bit bit more freshness we've got a question here actually from uh, from jules gordon um i'm not adventurous enough with my layering any tips please for being more adventurous so layering is in the dyes i'm guessing are we talking i think so yeah yeah. yeah yeah i mean it's a case of playing around really you want to kind of you know Play around with some scrap pieces of card, mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. what you like. But I think mm -hmm. stick to colours that the tones are the same. As long as you stick to colours where mm -hmm. the tones are the same, you can't really go wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I think it may be, as well the simplicity of it, or the, the beauty of it, is that it can be so simple. Absolutely. You, know, you don't have to. I mean, I, yeah, I like simple designs. I mean, mm. all my designs are really simple. I like white and I like just kind of a pop yes. of colour in yeah. there. And I think sometimes that's really effective. So now we've got kind of our background. I'm just going to get some um, foam tape. Because what we're going to do is going to add just some dimension. So we're going to stick the flowers on. Okay. Just using some foam tape. <coughs> so we'll just cut some tiny little sections off. We'll pop them on like so. Mm -hmm. Definitely another craft room essential. Yeah. I know I get through oh, rolls so and rolls of it. <laughs> I just think adding dimension, it really, obviously mm. it stops that project just looking flat, but it makes such Definitely. a difference to just have something that stands out a little bit. It does, day. yeah. So we'll pop this flower on first. Now obviously you can cut as many of these as you want. So you could layer these up into, you know, make a huge frame if you wanted mm -hmm. to, couldn't you, for home decor. Mm -hmm. Don't just think of it as like kind of paper cut and Absolutely. Cards. Absolutely. You know, you use it for your home decor. Maybe wedding, it'd be a nice wedding stationery, wouldn't it? That'd be a lovely wedding one, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine like table decorations yes, yeah, and place cards that, yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah, really nice. A lot of people are liking this flower dye. Uh, a lot of people saying that they, they want to add it to their stash, yeah. that it's on their wish list. Um, Oh no, Linda Daffy says uh, at Christmas uh, her family brought her fragrance and clothes and chocolates but no craft stuff. <gasps> oh no. Definitely an excuse to treat yourself. I was going to say, you know what yeah. you need to do with that. Let's pop that down like so. So there's our flowers. So next we've got the letters. So what I thought, because it's the new year, I thought we'd kind of put Hello 2020 on it. Oh, nice. So then this can be another one of your organisation things. I don't know, maybe you could put your New Year's resolution in there or something. <laughs> It'd be a lot, wouldn't it, for the notebook? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I think uh, some people do make a lot of them. Yeah. So we'll pop that down like this. So let's put the far first number down and then we can see where we go from here kind of get it in a straight line there we go. i think alphabet dies are so handy they've got so yeah. many uses to them as well definitely so, you know and there's so many different fonts as well that you know you can never have that's it yeah yeah if you're anything like me, you'd sit there for hours trying to write out the perfect, oh, you know, the perfect absolutely. handwriting. Especially brush perfect, letter and uh, and yeah, like exactly. It's just that it. um, that easy, easy way to do it, isn't yeah. it? And of course, you can just cut it in any colour as well, can't you? So it's yes. coordinating. Yeah. There we go. So we'll just put in the word hello now. Uh, so we've had a question um, on YouTube. Uh, what glue are you using? So this is just a white, just a mm -hmm. PVA glue. Yeah. But so I just any pour PVA? it. Um, so any PVA really. And mm -hmm. I just pour it into these thin bottles, mm -hmm. and then I've the nozzle bottles, and then it gives me the control over it. Right. So yeah, any just PVA. But it makes such a difference putting it in that nozzle as opposed yeah. to having a big bottle of it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Of course, we have the um, we have the bottles available on Craft Stash. Yeah. Um, they're the the small ones with the the pins in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Fine. Tip gluing. So handy. Hello. There we go. So these, you can either leave the letters separately if you like, so they're not touching each other, or you can slightly overlap them so you get that brush mm -hmm. um, lettered effect. Mm -hmm. We've uh, had another question here as well about the, the weight of the cardstock. Um, so this is our Sizzix cardstock. I would say it's about 200. 120 GSM. Sizzix thin list dies will cut 300 GSM hard, no mm -hmm. problem whatsoever. So you can cut really, you know, good thick right. hard stock right. with them. So if you're thinking what you can cut with them, yeah, yeah you've got no There's problems. Yeah. All, yeah. It's quite nice being back after Christmas and standing yeah. having a little make. Haven't made anything for. There's a lot of people saying that. There's a lot of people saying that they um, they Get are back into it. Yeah, yeah they haven't done because of course in Christmas I don't know if you're anything like like in my house all the craft stuff it gets pushed to one side you have to clear space yeah, um, absolutely. and uh, yeah it's nice to get it all back yeah, out it again is. isn't yeah, it? It's really nice. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of twine on here because I just think it just adds to the. And then you've got all those natural elements, so we'll just use some twine. <coughs> grab some tape. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hidden anyway, so any tape will do. Um, let's just line it up where I want it. So if we say about there, the back. I mean, you could, as I say, these would be nice with the um, all the journal dies we do, you know, all the Eileen Hole journals and things. Yeah. These yeah. flowers would look beautiful on those. Definitely, yes. I think, uh, I think someone's already mentioned that they, um, they're going to use yeah, these dies yeah, to decorate it. Yeah, it scrapbooking as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, Which definitely. There's just so much crossover with things like this. Yeah, absolutely. So we can now pop this onto our notebook. Oh, lovely. Amazing how that, that string just gives it that, yeah. you know, that little bit of a rustic look. Yeah, and I think that these flowers lend itself to that. In fact, actually, if you um, you could distress the edges of them, couldn't you? With yes. Like vintage photo distressing. Yes, or absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm really sorry. I think I'm going to sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> I've looked at the light now. It's gone. Right, like, I'm all right. Yeah. It might come back. <laughs> I'll apologise now. But, uh... <laughs> Well, just have some little gems that go around the kind of flower just to draw mm -hmm. your eye. I think that's really important with like simple designs. So right. the design is kind of going down into the corner here rather than all over. Mm -hmm. So just some little gems that surround it just finish it off nicely. I oh, think. fantastic. We always like a bit of bling, don't we? Bling, yeah. yeah. And just a reminder as well for those of you who've just tuned in, um, we do have a giveaway today. We've got three bundles to give away. So just comment on uh, on the live video, either on Facebook uh, or YouTube, to be in with a chance of winning. They're actually going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I almost, uh, almost like it when things like this happen on Facebook Live because it kind of shows everyone that all crafters yeah. are the same. Yeah, it's going to happen. They find me. You can go <laughs> So then I'll just tie a bow with the leftover twine. Um, I did hot glue that one on actually. So hot glue. So what we do is we tie the bow. And what I do is I'll put that one there, and then you can just see what it looks like with the bow. But I just think that's really pretty. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, it's nice yeah. And, you know, a really plain notebook. Yeah. And it totally changes the look of it, doesn't it? Oh, it's it's great. It looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and again, a great way to to bring in the new yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. Um. Unfortunately, we've already uh, already ruined Wendy's uh, New Year's resolution. She says, so much for my buy last I can guess, I can guess yeah. exactly what yeah. that was going to But on the plus side, you'll have lots of lovely new dice to play with. So yeah. it's, a, it's a good thing. Absolutely. 
Okay, so um, I would had a comment before about the dinosaur card here. Yeah. So let's just have a look at some of these uh, yes. these samples we've got here because I have to admit this has been catching my eye. I know, a I love the well. dinosaurs, absolutely love them. So really fun, really pretty, brilliant for children's birthday parties, yeah. birthday party decors and things like that. Children's cards, really good. You can make little cake toppers with them. Mm -hmm. Just fun designs that you can use really bright colours with, I think. Oh, fab. Uh, so you can see here we've got this little guy here. Uh, and then these ones here. I think as well, you know, cut out in such bright papers. Yeah, They're just really fun, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and in fact, you could cut them and just let the children add all the spots on and decorate them. Can absolutely, you get yeah. My um, boys quite like it. If I cut it just on white, they like colouring them in. Just yes. colour the dye yeah, 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 it's all a great way to get kids into yeah, crafting absolutely. and doing things yeah. and making. Um, but you'll notice in, in a lot of this this range, there's a lot of brightness, like this again is catching my eye. I, know, I love these. So these are the spring icons. So they're all kind of emojis and your rainbows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I, my teenage daughter is really into something called K-pop. So it's Korean oh, pop okay. band. Yes. And yes. all these icons go with it. Oh, um, okay. I didn't realise this until recently. Right. Um, but these are really good for like teenager cards and oh, again fantastic. parties and things like that. they're just bright they're fun yeah. they're happy it's yeah. something different after christmas yeah again that's just it's just a little bit of fun really. yeah definitely i would absolutely say fun was um running all the way through this um, oh there there's the lemons from it love. oh wow oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on the uh, close-up actually because there's a lot of detail in this um there's a, a lovely background eye with it as well yeah so that's her geo frame actually so that's in this chapter's launch as well release as well fantastic um so you've got the i mean that's quite an elegant die isn't it yeah. and then you've got the yeah. little fun twist on it yeah i mean um, you could make that look totally different you know but just very yeah. sensible yeah. um but obviously it got into my hands and i started adding lemons to it and yeah. Oh, you know, there we go. I really want to say the lemon twist now, a twist of lemon. <laughs> just ruin that. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> Please put up with my terrible jokes. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start looking through the comments and uh, choosing some winners. Yeah. Have you got another thing to show I us? I have. Yes, Excellent. I have. So I'm going to use the fantasy set this time. So this is one's a little bit fun. So we've done the floral. So let's kind of take it now to a little bit um, quick and uh, let's put that there. So I've already die cut lots of these because what I wanted to do was show you how they all layer up. Um, because this kind of, I get asked this all kind of, all the time. So people ask me when I cut, do a card like this, how you will get them from different colours if you like. So how you add all the colours on. Um, so we, I've already cut some of them, so we're just going to show you how to trim into it, really, and make okay. these layers. So we've got the unicorn here, so I've cut it from white, and I've also cut it from pink. So all we're going to do with this pink one is I'm going to cut, it sounds really quite sinister, but I'm going to cut this <laughs> tail off, um, like that, and I'm going to cut the mane. So we've already given you the lines to cut, if you like, as well, so it's only a case. You don't even need to be able to trim really well, it's just a case of using your scissors to kind of release it really. Um, and then we can just glue that on. And it, it seems really simple, but when you're new to die cutting, mm. something like that, you think, well, how have they done that? Yeah. Um, it's just a little hacks, isn't it? It is, yeah, absolutely. And it, it changes the look of your dies, you know, it goes yeah. really flat to yeah. one colour, to giving it that lots of different elements. So we're just... And there's so much that you can find, isn't there, just by yeah. playing around as well. Yeah, and you're only using tiny scraps of card actually mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, right? definitely. And then the rainbow works in exactly the same way, actually. So let's pop its tail on like so. So the rainbow's exactly the same. So we've got here all the different colors. So we're going to take the white one, and then we are just going to trim each color off. So I've got one that's already die cut in pink. Mm -hmm. I just snip. And again, the lines are there for you. So it's not exactly, you know, you haven't got to be really good at cutting to do this. Mm -hmm. You don't think, oh, it's going to go wobbly. You've got the tiniest little snip you need to make in each side. Okay. There we go. So that's the pink layer. And then use the white one as the base to stick it all onto. Mm -hmm. Take the yellow one. So 
and again this so you can make lots of rainbows out of this one these one die cut or these die cuts if you like because you're just you're going to use them in different positions oh right yeah um, so let's cut Yellow one, so let's snip that there. I'm just imagining people now with boxes full of rainbow rainbows that they say. I know, yeah. <laughs> Why are you keeping that box? Well, funny enough. It's my rainbows. rainbows. <laughs> a lot of people liking the dinosaurs here, and a lot of people liking the lemons as well. Yeah. Uh, this um, this launch is going down so well. I know. I think I'd, actually, I I think. Even though I say it myself, we've done a really good job on mm. the designs in this. They're fresh, they're modern, there's yeah. something a little bit different. Yeah, I think definitely. We've kind of got something for everyone in this um, <coughs> launch. Well, that's always good, isn't it? Because, yeah, you know, it's, uh, we say that, yeah, we like flowers, we like yep. this, we like that, but actually, we also like a bit of a lot variety, of other things. Don't we? The thing is, I think, um, we're very. We're very good at it. We do a lot of research into what's on trend and yeah. what's yeah. going to be on trend and, you know, what mm -hmm. people want. And I yes. think that shows in the designs, really. Yeah, They're definitely. always keeping up with, you know, what you see here is what you're going to see in home deck and what you're going to see in mm -hmm. fashion. It all mixes mm -hmm. in really well together. Great. So let's just lay out that colour there. So there we go. We've got all of our three colours now. So to just tidy that up a little bit, I'm just going to cut the clouds again from another one. Mm -hmm. So again, it's just a case of... Little snip there. Oh, that's so nice and simple. I know, I like simple. Life's complicated as well. <laughs> True. Like making a complicated rainbow. <laughs> there we go. So we'll just add those on here. A lot of people looking at this uh, this die set and saying that it'd be great for nieces, granddaughters. Yeah, this comes actually. This one comes with a little princess as well, isn't it? Oh, fantastic! Uh, so it's got the unicorn the rainbow. So it's got a little princess as well. Oh, so it's got a real kind of fairy yeah, tale. Absolutely, theme, yes. So what we're going to do now? So this is going to be my kind of card blank. So again, I'm just going to use some of the scissors card, and I'm going to. I've chosen the colours that kind of tie in with all this, so they really coordinate, mm -hmm. and it just makes it pop. So I'll pop some pink on first of all. And I think, do you know what? With my designs, when I do a design, I hardly ever use more than five colours. If you look at all of these, I think using less colours and just tying them all in. Yeah, yeah. It gives it that really kind of nice elegant look. Yeah, definitely. There we go. So we'll pop some blue on because obviously rainbows and unicorns go in the sky. rainbow on flat mm -hmm. and then we'll pop the unicorn on 3d again so that it, it gives it that dimension so we'll take our little unicorn mm -hmm. so pop my, yeah. there we go I could imagine this framed on a wall yes uh, be lovely wouldn't it one of those ones that you want to keep yeah this would be nice as like a uh, birth sampler, you know, like yes. you could do them with cross stitch, but you could actually yeah, do them with paper. Yeah, don't you? Like, um, paper unicorns. Yeah. Again, this kind of handmade thing, it's it's really popular in the home decor yeah, and the And actually, even manufactured things are made to look like they're handmade yes, exactly. now, aren't they? Yeah. There we go. So we'll just pop the clouds on. So the clouds come with it as well. So you get several designs. I love the little star that you get with it, it's got a face on it. Oh, fantastic. I'm just going to use the 3D foam for that. So, oh, we've got some more uh, praise for the big shot here. Tina Louise says she has four machines, <laughs> but always goes back to Sissy. I know. Um, yeah. That is. Do I hear that all the time as well? Yeah, yeah. We'll have the star, little star poking out of the clouds. <laughs> See, this is the little land that I live in. It's like, oh yeah, there's rainbows <coughs> and stars and yeah. unicorns. I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> Again, we'll just use some 3D foam. 
fun with this star. Mm -hmm. How nice stars are adorable. Cute, aren't they? Yeah. If you wanted the face to show up a little bit more, you could just go with a black, like a black fine line Of course, yeah. And then, yeah. obviously, we need some hearts raining down from the clouds. Oh, of course. Of course. We'll see unicorn with our hearts. <laughs> Heart rain. <laughs> 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 This is where I get, so what did you do at work today? <laughs> yeah, I know, people don't believe me when I tell them. <laughs> trying to describe what I do for a job is like me on impossible. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sure I'll get a bit of heart gone, but that's fine. So again, I'm just going to take some little gems, but I think that just finishes up this design. Mm -hmm. And anybody in the, actually, who might want to know, this is just printed off on my computer at the centre, Mum. So oh, I've just what? typed it up on the computer and printed it so off. Just, oh, brilliant. I've actually had a question from um, from Sharon saying, um, will these dies cut felt? So I don't know if you want to talk no. a little bit about... So basically we've got two different types of dies in our range. So we've got the thin lit dies, which is what we're looking at here. So they're the thin um, metal dies, um, like that type of thing. So just the thin metal dies. They're designed for paper and card. So they'll cut 300 right. GSM, up to 300 GSM card, but they won't cut felt. Right. And if you want to cut felt, you need our big dies. So our big dies are the thick ones that are encased in plastic. Yep. Yeah. So basically, these are, they've got foam on the front and they've got plastic casing on them. Inside the foam, and you'll see if you took it out the packet, you've got um, a steel rule blade die in there. Yeah. Now that allows you to cut through fabric, felt, balsa wood, um, craft metal. Mm -hmm. It'll cut through eight layers of fabric at once. Wow. So if you're into crafting um, with fabrics and soft craft, mm -hmm. the big dies are the way to go with it. Great. So really versatile for uh, absolutely for yeah. Kind of I mean, basically, page. with big dies, the the real the kind of best way to describe it is anything you can cut with a really sharp pair of scissors, you can cut right. using a big die. Oh, brilliant! So yeah, Fantastic. so there we go. So let's do actually. Yeah. And just a case of running it through your die cutting machine. Just run it through your die cutting machine. So basically, obviously, your die um, your big shot comes with platforms. Mm -hmm. So you remove all the platforms, and when you're using a big style, you just use the clear plastic plates. You don't use anything else. Oh wow! So you don't even have to. Uh... No, just clear plates, and that's it. So there we go. So there's some unicorn cards as well. Excellent. How lovely. <laughs> We've got so many comments um, coming in. It's absolutely. Um, so much love for these dies. Um, I mean, we haven't really spoken about the the kind of more grungy side of it. I yeah, suppose. absolutely. We've kind of focused yeah, on we the, have the cutesy, the cutesy fun. Yeah. But just for any uh, for any grunge and yeah. Tim Holt, Holtz fans in the room, um, we've got some here that. Yeah, I mean, Tim Holtz has brought some fabulous designs this release. Mm -hmm. Again, I mean that I think that there is absolutely beautiful. You know, this embossing folder. And again, it's so simple. You emb emboss a piece of black cardstock, mm -hmm. dry brush over it, and you've got that beautiful result. And the same as this. You know, it's black wow. cardstock with some gilding wax on it. Wow. But you get that. Actually, I like this one as well. So I should I just grab that one? That's the bottles one. Like. Oh, that's I think good for men's cards, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Men are difficult to make cards for. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but this works really well. And then even the borders, the little layers that we've got there, the borders, and then the heart one, even that, it's the heart. You wouldn't think of hearts as being grungy. No. But really no, good for men's cards. It is. It's great, yeah. But yeah, yeah. So, I, and I love this. You know, we've got the Tim Holtz um, release that is totally different than the Sizzix mm -hmm. release. Mm -hmm. So we've got the beautiful um, florals and the elegant and the cute mm -hmm. designs, and then Tim Holtz with a real grungy look. So there yes. is really something for everyone. Yeah, definitely. And the nice things about these, I find as well, with the Tim Holtz, because um, I've heard people say about it before, like, oh, you know, he's very grungy. It's all very brown and dark. But it doesn't, it doesn't have, have to be. be. Um, it's funny because, I mean, um, Pete at Sussex, you know, he's amazing at this Tim Holtz stuff. He does the most, yeah, he's probably done all these. The grungy and, but actually, if I took, take the Tim Holtz dies and use mm -hmm. them, I can't do, naturally, I don't go towards grungy. Right. Um, so I'll use them in a totally different way. And you oh, can fantastic. get such different results. Brilliant. Just from the same dies. That's fantastic. Um, what else is going so Lily Newsom says she loves this new launch and she loves her big shot. Um, oh no, um, Rizwana says my big sh my Sizzix big shot is so old it needs to be in the craft museum. The handle has just started to come away from the main machine and uh, a little bit, but still going strong. Yeah, love my big shot. We'll have to treat myself to a newer version. I mean, it, it lasts forever, yeah, doesn't it? Absolutely. it really, they do really... I mean, mine, obviously, you know, I've used them 
every day. I mean, I've taken mine on planes. I took them in the boot of my car. They go everywhere with me. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I don't take them when I'm on holiday on a plane, but if I'm working away. <laughs> so they get thrown in. You know what luggage is like when you go to the airport? They just Absolutely, throw it yeah. Honestly, yeah. it just withheld the test of time. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I think this is a good one. Can I just show this? So this is yeah. our Aragami bunny. Oh, wow. I think this is a really good design. It's actually like 3D look. So look at the 3D. Oh, yeah. that's really cool. <coughs> this would be beautiful for frames and things, I think. Yeah, definitely. If you're doing frames. Yeah. Um, and again, bunnies, you know, you've got that really fresh spring yeah, feel to yeah. them. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to flip through. Actually, the mask as well. When we were talking about the masks earlier, weren't we? I think we, we had one there, didn't yes, we? Yes, yes. One of the giveaways I would is put it the on, mask. But I'm trying to be sensible. <laughs> There's no such thing in here. <laughs> um, no, let's not get me started. <laughs> um, yeah, so the bunny masks, they're really good for children's Easter parties. If you're doing um, Easter egg hunts and things, mm -hmm. children could go around. Actually, I will do it because I can't help myself now. <laughs> <laughs> it's demonstrating the products. I started and I couldn't stop. <laughs> well, that's great, isn't it? Just for yeah, these kids' parties, absolutely. making things fun. I yeah. mean, the kids can make their own mask that can be yeah, part that of would be really good. Part of Same, and it's not only the rabbit you can make; you can make all different um, sorts of different animals. You could do it for a birthday party mm -hmm. as well, couldn't you? And then these flowers are something else. They're another one of our die sets. You just add flowers on, so they can decorate them as well. Yeah, yeah, well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to announce our competition winners now. Um, so let me find the comments again. Um, Okay, so um, first uh, first winner, we have Sharon Gullickson. Uh, she says, I love to make useful crafts. I'm making some notebooks for future gifts, die cut decorations and different papers can change the look completely. Absolutely. Lovely. Totally great. And they're great for gifting as well, any kind of stationery. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you like start that. now, you'll have enough for Christmas, won't you? Uh, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna go with do, do, do. so I like uh, this comment from Danny Hutchinson who says don't think my hubby will be impressed if I order more uh, well he doesn't have to worry about this one because uh, yeah yeah because it was a prize <laughs> so well done and I'm just gonna flick over here and have a look do <laughs> I do apologise for this. Um, <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? It's building up the suspense. This is what you do on quiz shows. Oh, I'm going to choose uh, Sue Pollock, who says she loves the mask. I'm always making masks for my granddaughter. Ah. So that one will be lovely. Yeah, so maybe you can make it with your granddaughter and have a whole kind of crafting session. Um, that'd be absolutely lovely. Um, so. All that remains to be said now is thank you so much for watching. Um, as we said before, all of these beautiful products are available on Craft Stash. Thank you very much for Kate, uh, to Katie for inviting me. Uh, you're very welcome um, for coming so so early in the new year and <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> but it's <laughs> it's been a good show. Yeah, it's, it's been a good show. Uh, so thank you everyone on Facebook and YouTube, and I'll see you soon. Happy New Year.